Okay, sa video na ito ay matututuan nyo kung paano mag-transform ng general equation or general form to standard form. Ang general equation of a circle ay ganito ang forma o istura. We have x squared plus y squared plus bx plus ay plus f equals 0. At ilalagay natin siyang papuntang standard form na ganito. Square root x minus ah plus square root y minus k squared equals r squared. Para, man natin, para matransform ang general equation to standard form, we're going to use completing the square. Why? Because this is a second degree equation. Okay? So, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung quadratic formula, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung factoring. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the completing the square quadratic equation to transform general equation to standard equation of a circle. So, we have here an instruction. We have, it says, transform the following general equation of a circle to a standard equation of a circle a standard form and identify the center and radius of the circle. Sketch the graph and indicate the center and radius. Now, I'm going to ans answer first uh, problem number one. The general equation is x squared plus y squared minus 14x plus 2y equals negative 14. Completing the square, the first step is actually to transpose constant term to the right side of the equation. But since negative 14 as a constant term is already on the right side of the equation, we natin kailangan i-transform pa, uh, i-transpose pa. Then the next step is, if you still remember, nung grade 9 kayo, tinuro sa inyo kung paano yung masol, mga quadratic equation using completing the square. I-group natin yung mga, um, yung terms based dun sa kanilang variable. Okay, to x squared and uh, x term, pwede natin first group. Then, yung y variable, we have y squared and 2y equals negative 14. So, naglagay ako ng space doon kasi yun ang idadagdag natin para maging uh, square of a binomial itong group na to at ito maging square of a binomial din yung group na to. Okay? And uh, para maging trinomial perfect square siya. So, para doon sa special products natin. Na natutunan natin ng grade 8. So, paano? Anong number iadag na, dadagdag natin dito? Uh, we're just simply going to divide the coefficient of x by 2. Whatever is the coefficient of x, it will be divided by 2. So, 14 divided by 2 is 7. The result is square natin. And 7 squared is 49. So, yun ang idadagdag natin dito. Then, para naman dun sa uh, second group, we're going to divide the coefficient of y by 2. Again, by 2 pa rin. And then, square natin yung result. And that is 1. So, plus 1 here. So, this is now trinomial perfect square. Uh, Nag-add tayo dito ng 49. And then, nag-add tayo dito ng 1. To preserve the equality of the equation, it should be added also to the right side of the equation. So, this will be plus 49 also. Plus 1 din. Okay na. So, this is now trinomial perfect square. Or, uh, it will be factored by square of two terms. That will be x. And then, square root of 49 is 7. That is now the sum or difference of two terms. Or square of, uh, square of the sum or difference of two terms. But since the middle term is negative, negative yun ta. Okay. The other one, we have y. Square root of y squared is y. Square root of 1 is 1. Then squared, the middle term is positive, so middle term din dito is positive. So, yun na yung ating result for the two groups na ginawa natin. Then we add yung mga terms na sa right side of the equation. We have 49 plus 1 is 50, minus 14 is 36. So, this is now your standard form of the circular standard equation. From the general equation, na-transform natin siya papuntang standard equation. 
And therefore, the center of the circle is located at 7, which will be negative 1, and the length of the radius equals to 6. Okay? So, ano pong pinapahanap pa sa atin? So, standard equation, sketch and graph. Or sketch the graph. Indicating the center and the radius. So, graph natin siya. Kuha tayo ng Cartesian plane. Okay. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then 1. Then, and then, we have, we're going to count 6 units upward and downward, also to the right and to the left, para makuha natin yung pagkakabilog ng ating circle. So, from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then upward, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Somewhere here. Then we'll downward, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here. Okay. So then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here. So yung ating circle, ganito siya. So, this is the center of the circle. Na doon siya sa 7, negative 1, nasa 4th quadrant. At ang length ng ating radius is 6 units. So, that is our answer for number 1.